just came across this awesome math activity website. Um, it's for free for teachers. You might have to you pay a little bit if you're a parent or if your student wants to access it from home. Um, the neat thing is there's also an app on the Google Play Store or an app for Apple mobile devices that you can also take a look at. I just want to give you a brief overview as to what this uh, website does. First of all, it's full of activities, as it says over here, thousands. And again, if you're a teacher, just click join for free and you can get into it. I'm not even logged in and look at all the stuff that I have access to. Um, first thing is when you click on this math activities, math activities, you will actually see all by grade, by curriculum, by book. I'm just going to go through those real quick. If you have all, just come down here and you could view the episodes, worksheets, playlists, lesson plans, things that they have for each one of these. Just click the view all. It'll pull open the standards, the concepts on the left side. You'll take a look at the right side and you can actually... But if I go to first grade, I can do it by grade level as well. Here's one I can get into. So first grade, you're going to count how many birds fly across the screen. One, two, and then you click two. And you do this about six, seven times and it uh, says congratulations when you're all done. Again, it goes all the way up to sixth grade, which is kind of a cool feature. They got tons of things that you can have access to. Here's some statistics. Um, again, over here on the left side, you'll see all the different things that you can get. You can click on them, and what that'll do is that'll bring open subcategories for each one of these. So again, here's save the ball if I'm adding negatives or whatnot. Let's see what this one's about. Okay, help the ball reach the net by placing springs in the holes. There we go. Oh, zero minus two equals negative two. I gotcha. So now I've got zero minus seven. Zero and five. And then we'll go another two. And click go, and hopefully I did this right. Whee! So anyways, if you're working on integers, might be a fun game to play. Um, the next thing that you can open it by is just strictly by curriculum. Um, common Core Math Standards are all listed, but you also have Alaska, Indiana, Minnesota, Texas, and Virginia, if you're from any of those states. Right down here again, you want to practice a specific standard. You go ahead and you click on the standard itself, click on the play button, it opens up the activity. Beads and fractions make a necklace such that 50% of the beads are striped. So, uh, oh, I guess I gotta bring it over here. There we go. There we go. There's one, two, three, four, and 50%. Oh, look at that pretty bead I'm doing. Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six stripes. So I better put a bunch of non striped ones up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Better put one more striped. Oops, guess I better throw it in the monster's hand. Click done, and look, I got 50%. So. Anyways, that's what that is, but one of the really neat features of this that I was kind of excited to see is that you have by book. So you click this by book, you go here, I'm in sixth grade, you pick your grade level first, you go in here and you say, huh, which book do am I currently using? And I might be using the Saxon book. And so if you're in a district that's using textbooks, you click that, and now you have your lessons one through ten, lessons 11 through 20 and it's got an activity a worksheet maybe something that goes along with that lesson so that's really what Matific is all about it's awesome um, completely free again for teachers I really recommend giving a shot and see what you think